What's up guys, Grim here. I wanted to do a video to teach you guys how to move correctly in PvP. A lot of people are keyboard turners where they hit the directional keys on their keyboard to move their character and it is a very bad way to play, put it plainly. Um, if I see somebody that's a keyboard turner, it's an easy kill for me usually. So you do not want a keyboard turn and you do not generally want to backpedal. So backpedaling is whenever you move your character straight backwards and it moves at 50% of movement speed. So that's why sometimes you see people jumping and turning as they're running away is that's a way for them to hit you while they're retreating. Now let me just say that there are some classes that have to be keyboard turners sometimes and that is like healers and such that have to have uh, click boxes and stuff like that but usually you want all of your abilities bound to keys as in hotkeys because if you are a clicker of any sort where you have to click on your abilities then it is going to make movement extremely difficult for you in PvP. So how should you be moving if you're not going to be keyboard turning? Well, the key is to have your finger on the right mouse button and be pressing that down while you're using your WASD movement on your keyboard. And that will allow you to circle strafe people and also do the retreat jumping hit that a lot of people like to utilize in PvP. So this is how you circle strafe somebody. You hold down your right mouse button and then hit your A key on your keyboard and it'll allow you to run around your opponent while still targeting them and hitting them. So once you run out of room, whenever you are pressing your A button, go ahead and press your D button to go the opposite way. How to do the jumping attack retreat is about the same way as you did the circle strafing except for this time your goal is to get away from your opponent while also hitting them. So what you'll do is you'll face away from your opponent and run away. But whenever you're running away you will hit your spacebar on your keyboard to jump and while you are jumping away from your opponent you will turn in midair with your right mouse button so otherwise it's the same idea as the circle strafing where you will face your opponent and you will shoot them with whatever ranged ability or spell that you have and the goal is to do it fast enough that whenever your character hits the ground again you are facing away from your opponent again and resuming the retreat it's really good for kiting if you're playing a marksman or any kind of spellcaster that you want to stay away from your opponent as much as possible. But the key to all of this is practice, guys. Practice, practice, practice. Go to a dimension where you have a practice dummy or in Tempest Bay or something and practice circle strafing around the dummy. That way whenever a player is in your face trying to kill you and they have to face you to hit you with their spells and abilities, it'll be nice that you'll be able to circle strafe around them and your movement will make it to where they won't be able to hit you. Also, make sure that you have all of your spells and abilities bound to buttons on your keyboard or on your keypad if you use one, or if you have an advanced mouse that has extra buttons on the side, make sure that those are bound to abilities and stuff so that you can use them immediately and don't have to click around on your abilities. Because if you have to click, it's going to slow you down and you're going to be easy kills for anybody that's experienced with PvP especially those that know how to circle strafe and especially those that know how to kite you with the jump and attack methods that we just went over in this video. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you out. If you're not already doing these methods, then learning them will improve your PvP tremendously. Well guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit the like button down there so that I know that you guys like this type of video. And as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you tomorrow.